Hello everyone and welcome to this Wunderlist how-to tutorial. I uh, created uh, a tutorial earlier on uh, Wunderlist working with folder. Uh, that's a different part. Today I will uh, try to elaborate uh, uh, nearly 11 how-tos of Wunderlist. So the first one is how to share a list. So we all know how to create a list by creating, a, clicking on the plus button at the bottom left corner. Uh, shared list, give it a name. Shared list, uh, for example. And uh, this is the owner Tanmoy's zone, and I would like to share it with csc.tanmoy@gmail.com, uh, which is also me, but the name is Tanmoy Chakraborty. And you see the status of this is pending. So now I create and you can add as many users as you need by uh, using their name or email addresses. It will search the user list of uh, uh, under list. If they are found, it will show you as suggestion. You can click select it from there. So now create the list. Okay. The next thing is how to accept or deny a list. So to accept the list uh, using the Tanma Chakravarti account, I will log out of this account first. Sign out. Okay, this is my another account here. You see, I got a request to accept the shared list. Uh, I can click on this uh, icon tick mark to accept the list or click on this close button to deny uh, the list. So I'll accept the list. Next question is how to leave a list. So click on the shared list, uh, the list that is uh, shared with you. Right click on it, select list options and you see there is an icon to leave the list. If you click on it, you will leave the list. So I will not do it because I have to show some more examples. How to assign user to a task. Okay, so now using the Tanmoy's zone uh, account, I will try to create a task. A task. Hit enter and the task is created. So select it by left clicking on it and you see there is an option assigned to. Click on it to find out other users of this list. So I this the first one is me and the second one is the one with whom I shared the uh, list. So I select it. So you see now uh, there is also a, a icon on the list item which uh, actually shows that this is uh, shared with that user. The next question is how to find all tasks you are assigned to. Assigned to me is a list which is uh, uh, called smart list by under list and it will eventually appear when you are assigned to a task you can see the assigned to me list here it is a generated list by the application if it is not appearing here then you can always go to the settings panel and use the smart list option and turn on assigned to me list to be visible always you can also make it hidden now it is generally auto auto means that whenever you have a task assigned to this list will appear otherwise it will not so if i go to assign to me list i can see the shared list as the list name and a task is the task where i'm assigned to it will show you by grouping the list and the tasks of this list How to set due date? For example, uh, this list a task. You can always set a due date by clicking on this set due date option. 
and you can select your date and then click OK here. This will also show uh, the assigned uh, date on the task at the right and to you see two uh, smart list also appeared here showing the tasks that I have to do today and I have to do in this week as I have uh, selected today's date that's why these lists are here if I was selecting a, a date uh, about 15 days later I wouldn't have uh, seen any of this okay how to set reminder the same way you uh, set a due date you can set a remind me date time where the under list will uh, show you some kind of notification reminding you that you have to finish a task how to add sub tasks to a task a task is a task and I can add subtasks here subtask 1 and subtask 2 I can click on these checkboxes to show that I have the task completed and there is an icon here a pin that means that this task has one or more subtasks to be completed. How to comment on a task and make conversation? This is a very engaging feature of Under List because uh, this is not just about two people sharing a list. In my office, I use Under List between uh, four to five people generally and sometimes more uh, to maintain even a whole project. Uh, unless it requires a bigger uh, thing like a grant chart or something other like that project management things uh, you know if you go uh, have gone through this kind of softwares but in simple sense if the user that I assign to a task need to tell me something about this, that task they can always comment here for example this task a task is assigned to me by Tonmoy's John, so I will ask him a question. Uh, can you give me some suggestions? You see the comment. Uh, if I log in uh, as uh, Tonmoy's John, I will see the comment, and I can always give reply to that. How to attach files to a comment of a task? Okay. Thanks to Underlist that it all not only uh, provide us a system with commenting, it also provide the basic need of sharing files. When I'm talking about, for example, I have a project uh, project going on and there is a bug in something, or I have to draw something to show my uh, project manager or team leader then I can always attach files uh, to my uh, comments you see robots.txt open and the file will be sent uh, it depends actually uh, on the native how to add notes to a task I think you have already noticed, noticed it there's nothing else to show actually but still I would like to show you A task uh, add a note I can leave a note here some kind of reminder sometimes a hint like a hint or sometimes uh, a link where we can probably study the problem uh, uh, search for detail in Google stop asking me idiot questions <laughs> okay so the, that was the last one I think 11 of 11 so the a bonus one is you can see that after adding a task you cannot really edit it from here so where will you edit the task 
description you can edit it here a task very important hit enter and it is edited uh, so there is another uh, thing which is uh, giving a start to a task for example this you see I start this task and there is another auto generated list called a start which shows me which are the tasks I start for example I may have five assigned tasks among those three of the tasks I can uh, I am marking as a start because they must have to be done first before the rest of the task so this is also very important uh, I also use this feature actually I am using all the features of Wunderlist and they are really very helpful it really helps me stay organized and I, I can't show you but uh, earlier today I found that I have completed nearly 75 tasks assigned to me and that was really really very helpful for me to find out I can track down which of the tasks I have completed who assigned me that task also so this is uh, it for today thanks a lot for watching watch my other videos too thanks